By default, groups are public with public content. In this video, I'll show you how to create private groups with private and or public content, as well as public groups with either private and or public content. Uh, it might sound a little confusing, but believe me, it'll make sense when you see it. Uh, so let's just jump right in and get started. In order to configure group access control, we need to enable the module organic groups access control. And once that's enabled, you'll see that we have to rebuild our access permissions. So I'll go ahead and do that. To create private groups, we need to venture into our first section of organic group settings. So we'll go to configuration, organic groups, field settings. Now there are a number of bundles that can be chosen here. And in this case, we're going to choose the group bundle. And you'll see that there are two sections of fields, one for groups and one for group content. In general, you don't want to give a group field to something that is group content or a group content field to something that is a group, while there are exceptions to that. Uh, but in order to create private groups, we want to add the group visibility field. So I'll save that. And now let's create a private group. Go to add content, group, We'll call this private group number one. And we'll give it a body. When you scroll down, you'll see that we can set the group visibility to private. If a group is public, all site users, including anonymous users, can see the group. If a group is private, only members of the group can see the group on the site. So I'm going to go ahead and set this one as private and provide a menu link just for this video. And save. Now I see private group number one in this menu link, but if we switch over to Safari and refresh, we don't see the menu link or the group in our list. That's good because we told it to be private. Now let's create a private article. In order to do this, we're going to go back to configuration, organic groups, field settings. This time we'll select the article bundle and the field group content visibility. This group's audience option enables the content type to be posted to a group, making it a group content. This is the second way to accomplish this, as mentioned in the first video, Organic Group Setup. It can be faster to add this field here if you have a number of content types created before you install Organic Groups, while it might be just as fast or even faster to add them on the fly when you're first creating a content type. But I'm going to go ahead and add the group content visibility and add that field. And now I'll create my first private article. I'm going to add content article, call this private article number one, and I'll give it a body. And set the group's audience to private group number one, and I'll leave the content visibility as group defaults. Now we can see the private article number one, if we go home, it is in that list, but if we switch over to Safari once again, and refresh the home page, it's not there because again it's a private article. Now let's create a public article inside a typically private group. I'll go to add content article, call this article number two, give it a body. Now I'll scroll down and select the private group number one. And under group visibility we have three options. Use group defaults, public, and private. Public will make posts accessible to everyone, even anonymous users. Private will restrict access to only group members. And the way use group defaults works is if it's a private group, the content will be private. And if it's a public group, the content will be public. So since this is a private group, I want to set it to public to make this accessible to everyone. So I'll go ahead and save that. And now if we go home, we'll see article number two at the top of our list. And if we switch over to Safari and refresh, we'll see article number two at the top of the list. So even though it's in a private group, we can still see it. As a matter of fact, if you go inside of it, for the group's audience, all it says is private group. It doesn't even tell you what the group name is. Now let's create a public group. We're going to add content, group. This will be group number two. Give it a body. 
We will set the group visibility to public and provide a menu link again just for this video. So I'll save that. Now if I switch over to Safari and refresh the home page, we see the group 2 tab and we can go in it and see everything there. So it's indeed a public group. So let's go ahead and create a public article in that group. We'll just choose article. Call this article number 3. Give it a body. We will select group number 2 and we can use group default because since it's a public group it will be a public post. So we see article number 3 on the home page and we see it on Safari as well. Now let's create a private article in a public group. I'll go to add content article. This will be private article number 2. We'll select group number two from our group's audience. But since we want this to be a private article in a public group, we have to override the content visibility to be private. Now if we go home, we can see private article number two at the top, but in Safari, there's no sign of it. This can be useful when you have a group where most content is public, but occasionally want to send something just for group members. In the organic groups field settings, you may have noticed one more field option, which is group roles and permissions. This is covered in the organic groups global roles video, as well as the organic groups global permissions video.